All right, we're here with MIT Women's Soccer after a uh, 3 nothing win over John Swales in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Uh, left to right, we have Montana Riley, Lily Bailey, and head coach Martin Damaris. Just, uh, coach, just started opening statement about the game today. It was a good game. You know, I think I'm always happy when we're challenged and we can keep fighting and rise to it. And it was, and it was a strong performance from uh, Johnson and Wales in the first half. They really were organized and they didn't give us really great scoring chances. And um, so the bees, you know, nil nil at halftime um, was was tough. But I was happy with the team's focus to come out and just just not get frustrated, just keep playing and trying to do things we want to do. And eventually, uh, um, Montana decided to uh, take over and. We got three goals in the second half. Yeah, so Montana, just talk about the game from your perspective. Two goals and assist uh, to lead MIT today. Just talk about that overall. Yeah, it was a great second half uh, on the team's part. We kept our heads up after the first half and knew we had to come out and score right away. And the first goal, Emily Brazola had a great run and shot. And it was uh, rebounded, and I happened to be there to kick it in. The second goal, Krenna played a great through ball to me, and um, that's how that happened. And then the third goal, I saw Sophia right op like wide open in front of the net, and she put it in. So I think that's what we needed for the confidence to come out tomorrow. Just talk about the you know defense. You know another shutout for you guys now. Now 20 there, um, but not only that, but you guys reached 20 wins this year. You're tying the program record from a couple years ago, and then you guys break the program record for scoring too. With now you guys have oh, 70, wow. 79 goals this year. Just talk about what does that mean to the team to, to break those records? Obviously we're early in the NSA tournament here, but you know going forward, what does that mean for the team to know those are behind your back here? Yeah, I mean I think one of the cool things about this team is that we've not really been motivated by records this year. We've we've been motivated by this part of the season, and so. So the most important thing is not how many wins we have behind us, but it's it's the next win that we get. Um, I mean, as far as the defense, it was like it was amazing having some players back that have been out for long-term injuries. Um, everyone stepped up and and played their role. And I, I think the biggest thing that that we worked on and, and that we improved on as the game went on is just patience. Like our patience in the back to to provide opportunities to the forwards to go forward was was exceptional. So. The other team can't score if they don't have the ball, and we had the ball a lot in the second half. And then we'll talk a little about tomorrow. It'll be either uh, Williams or Gettysburg. It could be a rematch with Williams or a first-time appearance with Gettysburg. Just talk about uh, maybe uh, Martin. Let's talk about the game tomorrow. Yeah, I think as you can tell with this first round, I mean, there's no there's no easy game in the NCAA tournament. Everyone here is a good team, and a lot of the teams are conference champions. So, um, you know, I expect that uh, whoever advances is going to be a very very good team, and it's going to be really tough. And um, you know, we just have to keep keep our focus. And um, if we continue to defend the way we have been, then we just have to find a way to to break through them and, and get a goal on the board, and um, you know, hopefully then double that or triple that or whatever we can do. Great, thanks, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Cool.